The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a customization video and the figure I'll be customizing is this guy. This is Siege Crosshairs. Now, he is a repaint of Siege Ironhide, as you can see. So he, he is a, like a Cybertronian van. Now, if you want to check out my review of Siege Crosshairs, I'll put a link in one of the cards above here and you can check it out if you want to. But for now, let's get on to this. Uh, so, if it's not obvious, I'm going to give Siege Crosshairs some bigger wheels. Now, in Generation 1, um, he w was looked similar to this, but he had larger off-road wheels and he's very much lacking that in his Siege version. So, um, yeah, let's just get started with this. Now, this is not originally my idea. A few months ago, I saw a thread on TFW 2005 where somebody took um, Lego wheels and some parts and basically um, gave Siege Crosshairs larger wheels. Now, I have a bunch of Legos and only recently I had some time to go through to see what parts I had to kind of make it work. Now, I'm, I'm just going to say some of the parts I have are probably not the best for this. But I wanted to work with what I had and I didn't buy anything new to do this uh, little customization mod. So with that being said, let's start off by popping out the wheels, which is really pops out really easily. And this mod is not permanent. Well, I guess if you wanted it to be permanent, you could, but this mod can also be reversed. So I got the wheels out and i'm just going to show you some of the things i used for this one some really thin washi tape you can see that here this is actually my daughter's washi tape i brought this uh paint marker mainly because i didn't like the color that i have and i'll go that in a bit and um some super glue i'm using jb uh super weld plastic glue because it's super strong but uh, yeah, let's go through the parts required, or for my purposes, the parts I used. Again, these are what I had. So here we have a large Lego wheel, rubber. You need one of those. One of these parts, I, I wish I had black, but I didn't. So I just used the blue, and then I painted this tip black because this is basically gonna go in here. And I didn't want the blue to show in the middle. Next, we have this piece here. Not sure what to call it. This looks to be just like a Lego wrench. And we're going to connect them together. I wish I knew what part numbers these were. So if you wanted to look for them specifically, you could. But I don't. These are just from my collection. And this piece. So this piece actually goes in here like so now there's enough friction to hold it in place but because I want to make it transform back and forth without popping out I basically got some JB weld super glue plastic glue and made the made it a permanent bond here so that it sticks now the last thing you're gonna need to do is use some washi tape to wrap it around because oops I forgot one wheel let's pop that out because basically we're gonna peg this piece in here but it's too loose so you're just gonna get some thin tape here so I can get that going and wrap it around so many times until you get a thickness um, of the peg or so the peg is thick enough that you actually have friction when you put it in so I have one already set here you can see I wrapped it several times so that now it can fit in now let me uh, just show you the final product here so let's put this here so I have four three of the wheels already assembled and I'm gonna assemble the last one now put it there and then 
attach the wheel to it like so and there you have the wheel I'm gonna peg it in and it's pretty tight which is good you can see it being pegged in here I'm gonna do the front wheel as well peg that in like so and again if it's not tight enough just add more tape peg this in you can see them all pegged in let's get this out of the way straighten it out and then we can rotate or lift the wheels up and you have crosshairs I think he looks way better like this let's add his gun there you go that's his gun added take a look at him from the front now this moves but it kind of gives you that off-road feel like you have individual shocks here but there's enough friction that it holds in place as you can see but man I think I think this looks very good for crosshairs it makes him look more G1 as an off-road vehicle okay let's get him transformed and the cool part about this mod is he's still transformable And there is crosshairs in robot mode with the large tires. I know the tires are very big, but I mean he's still use he's still you know posable in this mode as well. So I'm okay with that. Now another option, if you want, is the cool part being on Legos. If you want, you can make him look a little bit different by pulling out the tires. And you can actually put it on his arms like so kind of gives him a different look and you can do the same for the leg wheels you can put it on the side if you want because it fits very nicely in the 5mm port so another alternate robot mode transformation for siege crosshairs with this uh little mod anyway that is it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe follow us on social media and check out our discord links in the description below